bought this. It's broken. This arm here it's snapped on both sides. I think that's repairable. If I put some plates up the side or something and screw them in place or glue them in place. But I rather like the look of this. I'm not sure. I think it's probably one of those connects toys. But it's it's rubber band powered. Works all on these gears in here, and it's very much like the little um, pullback friction-driven toy cars. It's got this idler gear here that disconnects the power from the axle so that it can freewheel at the end of the power run. So I thought that might be quite handy to look at if we can get it going. Because you power it by stretching the rubber band and then as you let it go that would <laughs> um, come back down again if it wasn't broken in the middle and now that, that would then power the car forwards and then as I say that will pop free so it can freewheel at the end so I'm going to have to have a look at that um, how much did that cost me probably 50 pence. I also bought a skateboard there at the same time which I've already put in the garage. I bought it for spare parts for the trucks on it and I paid a pound for the skateboard and this together. So that's from the um, recycling centre. Hi guys, I showed you I picked this up in the recycling centre in my recent charity shop gold or garbage video in Thornbury and it was broken just here and just here. Now all I've done is used plastic glue, the sort of glue you use for putting plastic kits together so I've no idea how strong that's going to be. I suspect it's going to break straight away. In fact it has. So what I'm going to have to do now is put some either wooden or metal plates along there and glue them in place or even screw them in place. So plastic glue is not up to the job. Right, I've actually glued some strengtheners on the side here, just pieces of scrap plywood and two pack epoxy. The tape's just holding it in place while the epoxy dries. So I'll probably leave it overnight to give it a good length of time to dry. I mean, it's already dry to touch, it's 10 minute epoxy. But if I give it 24 hours, it should get the most of its strength. You will notice I've stuck a couple of bits of Meccano on the side here. What I want to do. Let's put my little action camera on here. And set it up so we can actually watch this idler gear moving from one side to the other. Because in that position, the rubber bands and the lever and these gears engage with these gears that run the back wheels. But what should happen is once this is released the momentum should make that fly across that way so it disconnects the power from the axle and that should allow the axle to freewheel so we get more distance. So that's what I've done. I've rigged up the camera on this side and just some weights on the other side to counterbalance it, stop it tipping over. And we'll see if we can film it going along. The other thing I've noticed on here is it's actually got two gears on the back axle and in its current position it's 
big gear to little gear, which is probably going to give us the fastest um, motion. Whereas if we slide the gears across, we engage small, smaller gear to bigger gear, and disconnect that one. So that should give us more power. So possibly better acceleration, maybe it'll go up slopes, that sort of thing. But in that position, it should give us the highest speed. We will see when it's ready to go tomorrow.